Welcome learners and math lovers in the series of videos on the course Topology. In the previous videos, we have seen the pasting demo. So, let's go back to pasting demo. The pasting demo says if we have two closed sets and AX is a topological space wherein you can write X as a union of two closed sets, if the restriction maps that is f restricted to restricted to a and f restricted to b are continuous then the function f from x to y is continuous that is a pasting lemma now let's go for a inclusion map and see that whether it's a continuous or not so inclusion map inclusion map or inclusion function as the name suggests we will see what it is so the position let y let y be a subspace of x and let us define a function i from <coughs> y to x which is defined by B defined by I of Y equals to Y then we need to show that I that is inclusion map is a continuous function okay uh, to come up with the diagram, let's have this. We have x or to a whole space, and in this x we have a subspace that is y. We have y. Okay, so y is a subspace of x, and we define a function uh, i from y to x. So um, let us let us. Or let us draw this here this side we have this total space x is x inside x we have y we have y and i is a function from y to x y to x and this is i and what we do is we take a, a point from y and we will map that point to the same point in y of course uh, this i of y is equals to y okay so what we say is this inclusion map i is a continuous function so it actually it is the identity function i from i to y and to show this what we will do now here you remember your domain and codomain of i the domain of i is y and the codomain of i is x and to show that this is continuous we need to take a open set here and show that that open set is the inverse image of that open set is open in y okay and when you show that the inverse image of that open set is open in y remember we have we are dealing with the subspace topology in y okay y is subspace of x so to do that let us take open set in our codomain so proof let us take an open set in our code domain so let u be open in x that is u, u is a subset of x which is open in x so let us take what is the inverse image of u and this is defined to be set of all x belonging to uh, the, the domain that is y such that i of x belongs to u and we define i of x such that set of all x belonging to y such that this x belongs to u and if you notice this set is nothing but we are taking set of all those points in y which are also in x so this is nothing but u intersection y we are taking all those points in y 
which are also in x uh, also in u so this set is nothing but u intersection y this set now u intersection y is open in y as subspace topology recall that in a subspace topology a set is open provided you can find a open set in the whole space such that that you can write the open set in the subspace as u intersection y now in this case we got a open set in x and you are writing this as u intersection y this implies the inverse image of u is open in y hence hence inclusion map i is continuous function okay so we have proved that the inclusion map is continuous and you can prove this to results as well let me give this as a remarks so first one we can show that the subspace topology subspace topology is the coarsest topology coarsest topology on y which is a sub subset of x of course such that inclusion map is continuous and the second one the product topology the product topology product topology on the product x cross y is the finest topology the meaning of coarsest and finest we already seen in the previous videos you can check in the description box or you can check on the playlist so finest topology on the product x plus y such that the projection maps phi x and phi y are continuous okay and uh, for two examples on r example 1 we can check whether they are continuous or not on r let us define two functions fx to be set of all it is defined to be zero if x is rational number and it is defined to be one if x is not a rational number check whether it is continuous and second one fx is equals to x if x belongs to q and 0 if x does not belong to q check whether where uh, whether these functions are continuous and of course if at all they are continuous at which points these functions are continuous so that's all about the continuity of the functions okay in the next video and in the coming series of videos, we will talk about the homeomorphisms. Homeomorphisms between two topological uh, spaces. Okay. So, stay tuned and see you in the next video.